Hello and welcome to Perspectives, where we take a deep dive into the issues of the day and where we take a look at people's opinion on such issues. My name is Ruth Osime. Almost every relationship reaches a point where the initial spark starts to fade a bit. If you've been married for a few years or are in a long-term relationship, it's quite common for the honeymoon period to wane as you both settle into the relationship. There comes a point in many relationships when your partner's most endearing qualities can become the most annoying qualities. Sometimes couples don't recognize the need to build space for intimate moments in their lives. There seems to be an expectation that romance and desire should happen naturally. For some couples, Talking about sex is difficult because they don't know how to acknowledge that the intimacy has stopped in their relationship. Sexual appetite may also wane, and whether the decline is rapid or sluggish, the results are the same. The bonding power of sexual intimacy disappears. It's important that couples appreciate that solid relationships take a great deal of effort to maintain. We are heading for a short break, but stay with us because we will shortly be back to begin the conversation on passion killers in marriage with our distinguished guests. Mind and behavior coach, Dr. Leila St. Matthew Daniel, in the company of multidisciplinary multi artist, Joseph Edgar. Perspectives will return in just a moment. Welcome back to Perspectives here on Arise News. We have reached that point when we get to introduce our distinguished guests. Today we have two most accomplished Nigerians in their own right. First off, Dr. Leila St. Matthew Daniel, who is a recognized personal growth and transformational expert, writer, TEDx speaker, emotions coach, executive coach, and leadership trainer with a passion to help connect people to their authentic purpose. She has over 20 years of experience enhancing the performance of individual executives, teams, and organizations. She assists professional women leaders to deal with the pressures that come with their high-profile jobs. 18 years ago, Dr. Leila St. Matthew Daniel was founded an NGO which she names Axe Generation, which is focused on empowering women and offering intervention in the area of domestic violence and abuse. To date, she has intervened in the lives of over 4,000 women in advocacy, counseling, and empowerment issues. Dr. Leila also believes when a woman is spiritually and physically sound, she should be able to take her God's giving position as a natural healer and nurturer. We are also being joined by none other than Joseph Edgar, popularly known as Duke of Shomulu, who is arguably one of the most incisive salespeople in Nigeria today. With more than 20 year investment in the banking career, and another seven years producing some of the most engaging stage productions, Edgar has built a very powerful and pragmatic network of contacts and associates made of over 10,000 people, including some of the most influential and powerful Nigerians in a very colorful and exciting work career. Edgar is also the co-founder of Hamilton and George, an upbeat investment banking franchise with mandates in power, oil and gas, and media, amongst others. A warm welcome to both of you on Perspectives today. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, <laughs> Thank you very Dr. Leila, and welcome, Edgar. Oh. So Do let's you know, start. Shomulu. <laughs> Dr. Shomulu, let's start. <laughs> Today's topic is a bit sensitive, as you well know. But I, you know me, I always like to pick all those um, sensitive issues. And I want to talk about passion killers in marriages and relationships. So let me start with you, Dr. Leila. What are the passion killers that couples struggle to address in their relationships? Well, for me, the first one is communication, always. Um, when you are not able to communicate, a lot of things follow up after that. And then um, the way you used to be before. You see, I tell people that the way you got into a relationship, either male or female, they, people don't change after, after marriage. People don't change after marriage, you understand? Because we're talking in the uh, um, environment of marriage, uh -huh. yes. or, or probably a relationship, a relationship, long-term long -term relationship. relationship. People don't change who they are. The only thing that changes, as far as I know, and the studies I have, is the fact that you are 
committed through deciding to get married. So the things that you used to do before, that you feel that because you are now in a committed relationship, both of you are see yourself finished kind of situation. You, 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 you don't take care of your hygiene properly. You don't take care of uh, uh, my, my, the emotional needs. You don't communicate properly. Uh, like I was talking, we were talking together. I said, he said, how does a woman want a man to know what she's feeling if she doesn't talk about it? So, you know, um, the way you dress, the way you cook, all those little things that used to happen. So when those things begin to dissipate, uh, dissipate in a marriage, because initially there is the um, uh, um, emotional oomph of the togetherness, uh, the uh, love, the desire, the ah, we don't need to have to make appointments before the, you do the do, and all of those kind of things. Then, uh, little by little, it begins to go down, it begins to go down, it begins to go down. And if you are not careful, you'll find that there is a bridge, a little bit of a bridge there. I mean, you've heard what um, Dr. Leila said, but men have been, know, have been known to talk. I know I've spoken to men who actually say that they can't eat the same food all the time and that because of boredom, sometimes they stray out of the relationship. So what do you have to say about that? And what does it mean when sex begins to fade between you and your partner? Let me just say something very quickly. Because eh? as, as I was talking, I just sat on my head. Mm. You get, part of the problem eh, is this, um, the way women beautify themselves. Is you that know? a problem? I thought it was the other way around. No, no, I'm coming, I'll make the point now. So, 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 when the woman is coming out there, eh, you will see the hair, you will see the skin, you see the eyelashes, everything. She's looking like um, like a, a, a Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. And then, and then <laughs> when she comes home, the transformation there, eh, I was saying, it's a different thing as in entirely. Mm. Do you get? So, 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 That's so. That's what I said, the way you look. So, so, to the man is like. Yes. Excuse me? <laughs> What's going on But here? some men don't really like that much makeup either. No, no, no. I'm, it, I'm, just, I'm just trying to say, because basically it's like that is two different difference. human beings mm. that you are seeing. Mm -hmm. The woman you are seeing in party is not the woman that's on your bed. Mm -hmm. Physically. Do you get? True, so, sure. you guys must begin to even give us some waiver. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, the cost of this is. Do you get oh the woman that I, I so for example, uh, so I went to parties where maybe I had to go one or two places before I got to the party, mm. and, I, and I said, okay, madam, I'll meet you there. Do you get? And I walk in, I can't recognize my wife. Are you serious? Uh, yes, now nah. I walk up past <laughs> I can't recognize. Her. I say, ah, where is this woman? He said, I see her there, and I look at her three times. Hello, Hello. do you get me now? Oh and then when I get home, he said, I said, you care, I'm seeing. Are you get me now? Yeah. So, so all of those was, was confusions. So you're saying the difference is too stark and it's yes, in some cases. Yes, in some cases. So you, 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 you want to be in bed with that one you saw in the party? Yeah, but the, the one you saw in the party is all made up now. Perfect. Yes, now, so, so when you now come and now see the written, you're like, uh, wow. That's are you serious? Yes. That's the, that's the angle of the not seeing you. Wow. Yes, that's the angle of the not seeing Because I kid you not, four out of five women that I know. As friends, like you now, like mm -hmm. the man I'm now. If I see you wedding, I won't recognize you. I'm telling you, I don't feel the play. So you are saying that in itself is a major turn off. Yes, for yes. So I don't feel the play now. And when everybody came out after seeing the play, oh, red guy, red guy, I'm not recognizing the people. I don't recognize me. How will I recognize you? Yes, you are black. Three are white. <laughs> <laughs> are you seeing now? So, so this is not our fault. Uh, but you, you also, what do you also say? You also, I mean, if, when the woman is in the house and she's relaxed and it's a weekend and mm -hmm. what have you, mm -hmm. do you understand? You don't expect her to, to be, be fully be made as, up. No, 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 just try to I be agree with as, yeah, try to as be close as to the room as, 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 as possible. That's why I said... Um, as close to the room as possible. Yeah, that's why I said, Ruth, that the way you were before uh, marriage or you got together mm. and after is very critical. I remember as a young lady, I was told one thing that when you are in the house, make sure, be yourself, but make sure that you do not be let yourself let go. Yourself go. Mm. Then my, my, my kids will tell you that many times they will come to me and say, mommy, where are you going? I said, no, I'm in the house. 
You understand? You don't let yourself, you don't begin to tie wrapper, your hair is in a bonnet. Mm. I, I have something or about wearing bonnet. Or even sharing the bathroom, bathroom, together. Sharing the bathroom oh, together. together. Oh, oh. And, you know, no, 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 I mean like when you're doing number two or something and then she wants to tell you something. You don't sound like it's a big deal. No, it's not. It's sexy. No, no, no. Ah! It's sexy. Oh, my God! <laughs> No, 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 That is sexy when she's in the bathroom yeah, with you, when you're doing number broken, two. You have broken all... But isn't that part of the passion killers? No, it's like fighting together. It's like, it's like you have broken all boundaries. You are free with this person. Is, that that is, is your no, soulmate. No, but are you saying that there should be no boundaries at all? Yeah, no boundaries. No, there so shouldn't be a boundaries no between boundaries. So you can fart in front of each other. Oh, yes, and apologize, yes. I will apologize. But doesn't that also contradict what you're saying? That a woman should always try and look good, or at least try and look relatively decent. Yes, you look good and relatively presentable to yourself because remember mm -hmm. one thing i always say be good for yourself mm -hmm. look in the mirror mm -hmm. and like what you see mm -hmm. and that means that you do not over make up where you are not recognized what happens sometimes the is women, that yeah, some yeah, the some 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 is like they, you have to extreme. scray extreme, extreme yes. you understand Even where as he says say you come in and there is one person and there is another person he has to do a double flick mm. uh, but because of the love inside of him he mm. accommodates mm -hmm. but that accommodation after time because time you know goes. time wears away certain things is the togetherness and the understanding okay let me ask another respect. question yes. because aside from the physical they were not talking sometimes mm the breakdown of this sexual connection mm -hmm. also has to do some emotional baggage that women carry. Yeah. It's like, for instance, if a woman, let me even ask you, uh -huh. because, uh, a woman has complained about a particular thing over and over and over and over again. Over the years, she has complained so much that now she doesn't even bother to complain anymore. But it has caused cracks in your relationships. So sometimes when you say, oh, the woman doesn't tell you what is wrong, there are some times that she does tell you what is wrong, but you don't stop it. So do you not think that, that's, don't you also agree that also that is one of the passion killers in relationships? Well, it's definitely, I agree with you that it's passion killer in relationships. Okay, so but how best can a man address this issue? No, it's not, it's not, it's not a man problem. What do you mean it's not a man it's problem? Not, it's not a man problem. Because when it comes to things of sex, relations, emotions, mm -hmm. one of the good things is that women are more advanced. Mm -hmm. Yes, women are more advanced emotionally than us. Mm -hmm. So do we go, see, this is your body, sorry, this is your body. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it was made for sex. Yes, your body was made for sex. Our own body is boring. So if, if I stand naked in the mirror, I'm like, what are these women even looking for? It's nothing. It's just straight. Just, yeah. mm -hmm. But for you, you have so many pleasure points. And then you have so many emotional circles. And then you're coming from here most of the time. Yes, uh -huh. So from we are home. coming yes. from here most of the time. The so when you are telling me things, you are telling me things, you are telling me things, you think you are connecting. You are not connecting because I don't see, I don't see the basis. I don't see the logical basis of what you are saying. Do you get me now? So, so because I don't see the logical basis of what you are saying, you get... You two will be getting angry that you are not getting across. You are me. not getting across to me. That's where the communication thing comes. Yeah. Now, but you see, most women, most women, if there's anything like you know, if you are feminist, if there's like manliness. That's me. So most women, eh, mm, they, they, they just once they feel that oh, we can't connect with this person. Mm. He's not listening. They just go into that space, and once they enter that space, it is hard to bring them out. So as a young man, like I was saying outside there, as a young man, my twenties, my thirties, do you get? I can be very patient to wait for you to come out of that space or to even follow into the hole to want to bring you out. You know, so I'm asking, what is the problem? Kill with day. Why, why are you like this? You so say, what if you know what the problem is, what do you now no, do no, no, about no, trying no, no. to no, in some close cases, that gap? In some cases, what I think is the problem is not the problem. It's not the problem, oh. So mm -hmm. that's me shooting in the dark hole. So for example now, I might think that the problem is, oh, I didn't buy her a birthday gift. Before you know, the problem could have been that when she greeted my mother, my mother did like this. Oh, that you have many other women. Oh, you have many other women. So I don't know what the exact problem is now. So that's me now going to connect with the birthday gift. So I'm going to buy gifts. Go to buy gifts, go to buy gifts, which is meaningless to her. She's inside that hole. It's okay when I'm 30. It's okay when I'm 20. It's okay when I'm 40. I have all of the time in the world to be stupid. But when I'm 50, 60, I have problems on my head. I have a legacy to build. I'm owing that bank. Last month is chasing me. Ella is chasing me. I will now come and be asking you, what is the problem? And you're telling me nothing. So I just switch off. And that's why you see a lot of men step out. Because, you see, 
The, the, what a lot of people don't know, again, is that... Are you saying that men step out because the women drive them to step out? Yes, one of the major reasons. No, no, I, don't, you know, I don't think You know, so. you know, 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 you the men are naturally naughty. No, complacency now. Wait, just, let me just say it now. We are saying this, we are saying the same thing. No, 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 we are saying the same thing. We step out naturally. No, come, we are saying the same thing. So, so most men will step out naturally. Yeah. Some men will step out by choice. But what I want to say to you here now, very clearly, you mm -hmm. see, a lot of people think that big men, older men, fifty year old uh, go for twenty year old men, twenty year old girls because because of their pecking, no, because the putting because because of the pecking nature. Yeah. yeah. They lie. So why did you go for them? Let me tell you, honest go through today. Why hmm? did you go for them? It's stress free. There's nothing a twenty two year old girl will say to me today <laughs> that will shake me. Twenty two year old girl problem is I won't buy hair, I won't buy phone. Uh, Richard can not finish oh data. I won't go. Do you get me now? You so as as a I'm coming, coming, coming. I'm still not doing. What's going on? So as a hey, we'll be, as a we'll be, listen, all of you are laughing. Even Kamera are laughing. And then, you, you see, you have to accept this as a 56 year old man, eh? Who has oh staff strength of 20? Does not know where to pay the salary or where the money is coming from. <laughs> uh, uh, landmark. They want to break down his house. Do you get me now? What the man wants to do oh is to rest. <laughs> he doesn't have time to ask his wife what happened, what the apple. He goes to the 22 year old girl, you get, and the 22 year old girl is there talking, and um, Bob Risky did this, uh, David do that. He's resting, though. He's not under any pressure. If it is time, he's not concerned in any way. No, Edgar, 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 don't step can out. Step out? Eh? Can the woman you step don't out? step out. No, wait. Don't give him a chance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. The fact remains that there oh has been goodness. a break in communication mm -hmm. somewhere down mm -hmm. the line, mm -hmm. and when that happens. There is a reason. You know the problem Wait, the no be saying the problem. Wait, to make it make her land, do Make her talk at the uh, what look. the broken English that I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> the fact remains that when you get to that point, mm. there should be an added communication. Yes, mm. the stress of uh, mm. the environment mm. and everything. The woman, and everything. The woman mm. too. Because during that point, the mm. man is going through what is called andropause. Mm. Exactly. The woman is going through what is called menopause. Wait! No, wait. You understand? They're very impatient. Wait. Very. Very. But you should learn to be patient. That's part of the That's problem. That's part of the problem. Okay, okay. You okay. jump to conclusion. Not you per se, mm. but most men jump to conclusions about what they perceive mm. is what a woman is going through. Mm -hmm. But do men know that during a period, sometimes starts as far back as 35 upwards, she's going through not less than 48 kind of symptoms of the menopausal situation. She herself, you said something, why doesn't she talk? Uh -uh. Well, are you going to be asking her like a child? Sometimes she herself does not even understand why she's going through that. You yourself don't understand why case. you are going through. No, 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 I'm coming. Then, good talk about Andrew Paul, then she comes back, mm. you are behaving in a certain way. She doesn't understand that you may be going to testosterone problems too, as she too is going through hormonal problems. And then, both you of you are jumping. Testosterone problems for the men. Yeah, I don't have that one. No. Wait, let her explain. This is my happy. My I don't know. know. No, but let her explain it's it not, first. It's not, I mean, Kalabama, I don't have. But what do you even know the problem is? What do you, you know, know it is? It is, it is a normal hormonal, it has nothing to do, it's just a normal hormonal situation that sometimes men in that space begin to look back at themselves and wonder, what have I even got to this point? It starts from about 40. That's why sometimes, years ago, they put something called the 40 year each. Mm -hmm. that, that is when most men will begin to go out because they begin to doubt their own capacity and ability so as a man. Been out since 26. No, Duro, no. Yes, we're, we're talking about... No, but I need you to explain that andropause, especially. Yes, because I don't think men, men are aware of it. It is a hormonal imbalance which a lot of men don't know about. And that is the point where they begin to feel less as if um, they are not really... Confidence level, uh, confidence level that drops, self-esteem. They look back and say, what have I achieved? They look at the home and say, ha, is it all about catering for my wife, catering for my children, catering for... The what about me? The what about me now comes in. 
you understand. And if the woman too does not understand that Andropos point, mm. she can actually you know, add to it by now demanding to be given that attention that her menopausal symptoms require. So both of you are jamming like this. You now are looking at yourself, the man, and then you look at that 22-year-old out there and say, ah, I'm wondering, this erectile problem that I have, you that understand? Exists yes, around that time. It's all a hormonal thing. And they, 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 they go out to test. Sure, you will understand. But then they help out. They begin to take Viagra or they begin to take certain things that actually could work against them. It is just a testosterone thing, and I wish people can understand that. There are um, supplements that can be used for that. A man is a man. He's a human being. He has his moods. He has his emotions. You understand? The woman is a woman. She has her needs. She has her emotions. So when she goes out like that, when she's going through her menopausal thing, what should she do? He doesn't have time for her because he has this load on his head. She now feels... Is this all there is to it? Then every time she's going to the workplace, whether she's working, she owns her business or anything, somebody compliments, your hair looks nice. Mm. Meanwhile, the man has not told her, has not even recognized that she has mm -hmm. done her hair. Mm -hmm. And every time she now feels a rapport, he can, she can talk to him, she can understand. Meanwhile, the man is carrying the load of, what are all those things you can't, mm. carry the load of that. That communication is... Okay, well, Edgar, what's your take on this? You know, the problem with women is uh, we are not really listen. All this talk. You were not listening when we no, were talking. I heard everything. No, no <laughs> I'm, Edgar, I'm, I'm you talking, have I'm a... Talking, no, I'm talking generally. Edgar though. has a I'm, I'm talking generally. telescope. Uh, no, 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 no. No, I don't. Okay, I don't. let's let him talk. You see, you see, uh, hmm? there's a Chinese wall. There's women, there's men. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. So when we try to tell you the true situation, people don't listen. But are you blameless? I'm but coming, I'm coming. when the woman let me, tries let me, to let tell me, me, okay, 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 all right, I'm totally not blameless. Uh -huh. In this whole issue, the man is even the worst. I, I agree. Well, okay. I don't know about no, no, that. I, no, no, I agree. In this total, for the sake of this conversation, the man is is the villain. Mm. Yes. No, but let's not. For the sake, let's no, not, for let's sake not, of this, let's, let's not put you on. No, for the sake of this conversation, but let me tell you something. Women have the kind of mental strength that men don't have. That's why a woman can carry a child if for If she them. knows it. I'm coming. I'm coming. If you this conversation, that's why a woman can, ha can go through labor pain. I have a small boy in my back. I, I don't die here now. Do you get me now? So, so, so when both of you are in that situation, do you get me now? Mm -hmm. You what see, situation? What situation? This uh, anthropol and metropol. 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 <laughs> so both of us have problem. <laughs> Both of us have problem. Exactly. You get. So you will now fall back on your mental strength. I have a friend today who, if she's able, no, I'm coming, to... I'm coming, I'm coming. God bless, I'm coming. She's in her forties, and you know, but she will say, "Oh, my king, oh, you know." At that point, the man is turning back to a baby. So like me now, these last three days, these last only three days, have showed me very clearly how miserable my old age will be. Why do you say that? Yes, because everybody's out. Everybody's abroad. Including your wives? No, no. So, I'm going to go with Wives? So, no, I'm going to wait now with this national team. Don't go that way. Wait, 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 wait. I want to prove. I want to prove a point. I mean, I'll walk away from I cannot be doing that and then I end up fire. I'll go over there. So, I wake up in the morning, nobody at home. Hmm? My man don't go to church. And I read an article. Last week, saying that once women are above 50, they get more religious. They get around. Yeah. Mama don't go to church. Nobody don't ask me what I will chop, what I will not chop. At 2 o'clock, I call. I say, How far? Oh, yeah, I'm coming. We are still doing it. So it's very clear to me. You were left in the house with nobody to take care of you. Need... So it's clear. Yes. For okay, for three days. Yes. 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 So it's clear to me, do you understand, that in my 70s, if I don't do something drastic, like like what? Looking for a new wife. You <laughs> <laughs> see, always that is the solution you see, you see, to you see, the you see, problem. You, see, you, see, so you are trying to justify why you might need to marry a new wife. It's a matter of life and death. Let me tell you guys, the others got through today. Wow. They can beat me when I leave this place. They can knock me out of the house. They can kick me out of the room. It's a matter of life. And so life what about those that are not married to new wives and they're still married? Is, is, is it, like you say, years people, later, years people later. are different. You can decide to face this situation in a different way. There are some men that say, let me go get a new wife. There are some men that say, okay, know something. Let me...
pay on my own. As well as okay, no something. I have a friend who died last month, sitting on his kitchen table, retired CBN director. Like this, sat down and died. Like this, Ishimulu, last month. Yeah, but what has that got to do? You know, so the woman has carried her metropoles, anthropos, and gone oh, with the children. Oh, it was alone. Alone, has gone with the children. Are you getting me now? So, so when you are taking this thing, which we are taking this thing to? Do you yeah, get me now? Well, Edgar, have you spoken it out? Or are you assuming that she... We are talking because so, it's so, you. So, so are you assuming that... The difference between that's... men and women, let's generalize it now, is that women have buffer that men will never have. So you, if I was your husband today, which is something I would have loved to be, it's too late now, <laughs> Because the husband today, <laughs> and I cheated on you, uh -huh. you will call Ruth and say, that fool cheated on me. So you get that buffer. Do you get me now? I cannot call anybody to say that person cheated on me, so I don't have that buffer. That gives you that mental strength, do you get me now, amongst others that most men um, will not have. So let's don't go, let's don't go off point. The question is, why do men stop sleeping with their wives at some point. Well, there are very yes. many reasons. Let me give you five yes. reasons to end this conversation on my own part. At 50, 60, you get, the man is just tired of going through all of that to have sex. All of what? All of what? All of, all of that. All of wahala. Which wahala? So when you now come out to have sex, that's when you now remember, say, you didn't buy that car. Yes. When when you want to come and have sex, I say go and bath first. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the man don't tire of all those things because at that point he's battling with BP. He's not even sure if the thing will even come up. He's not even yeah, that's around he, that. Around area. So at that point he doesn't need all of that. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. All of that and his height. Mm. That's one reason. Second reason again is this issue where the woman maybe because you have rightly said now that is the opodos, um Andropause. Uh, mm, the one that's doing people. Menopause. Menopause. Yeah, it's very so, bad. God bless you. So she's inside all of that. Do you get all of that? Psychological, everything, everything, everything. Do you get? The man just feels that. You know something? You just sort yourself. I don't run into turbulence. Do you get? Because you, I've seen men where the relationship is beautiful at home. Oh. They wake up that day, everything's beautiful everywhere, and the guy just asks for sex, and he just finds himself in World War Three. That he never anticipated, never knew would yeah, happen. Yeah, that's where communication. I agree with you there. So you just that's okay, where you know something? Yes. Let me just deal on my own. Yeah, 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 Do you yeah, get? Yeah. That's two. Number three, the man has what they want to call a lion mentality. He wants to be in charge most of the time. Yeah. Do you get me now? Yeah. He wants to be in charge most of the time. He wants to be controlled. Or at least he should be made to feel like he's in charge. charge. So it's not every time the man who wants to lock arms. I'm an independent woman. I must have my say. That's why when the man steps out, you know they won't come back. Oh, I have friends who will go and wash plates inside chick house. Oh, they wash plates. But when they come home, ah, are you crazy? I should take things to the kitchen. Are you getting now? Mm -hmm. So they don't, they don't, it's not every time you want to knock horns. No, I'll agree with that. Yeah, Ruth. but it's about finding the balance. But, but, I agree with that, Ruth. I, what, what, what I See, say I agree is the three out of the five. Oh. Uh, no, the, 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 thing, the, thing, the thing there is this, that I always say that we as women, there are many ways you can take to catch a monkey. You understand? Exactly. And to conquer. Agri aggression against a man. Split second psychologically, once you come like that, he mm. sees you as the man. Yes, yes. He yes. just sees you as a man that. and, and then he, reacts, he, 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 he just you. reacts to you. God bless you. Thank you so much for this very interesting but brief conversation <laughs> eh, over this man matter and woman matter. But I hope we have learned a thing or two. I have certainly learned. Me have learned Andropos. Andropoli. So thank you so much, uh, thank you Dr. So much Leila. And thank you so much, Duke of Show, Joseph thank Edgar. You. We're having you for the second segment. So thank you so much for being with us thank today you on so much. Perspectives. <laughs>